watching the demos and, and you can kind of get an undercurrent of, gee, it looks like IBM is beginning to understand what it's doing. IBM tried to get users to fall in love with OS2 by setting up a free test drive center at Comdex where you could sit down and play with OS2 version 2. Generally, the comments were favorable if you had enough computing power to support OS2. Microsoft almost upstaged its own product introduction by offering sneak reviews of the next generation of Windows, Windows 3.2, also known as Windows NT, for new technology. The soon-to-be-released Windows upgrade supports full 32-bit computing, as does IBM's current version of OS 2. In fact, several developers were demonstrating their Windows NT applications at the same time Microsoft was pushing 3.1. There were several innovative new products here designed specifically for Windows, among them two new software packages that let you run your PC under Windows by using a fax machine as an input device. Xerox demonstrated Paperworks, a program that lets you design sheets of paper with special hash marks that can be read by a fax machine and understood by your computer. Paperworks forms can be slipped into any fax machine anywhere, and they can instruct your PC to store, send, or retrieve any data that's on your hard drive. Cardiff Software introduced a slightly different fax input system called Teleform. What the Cardiff system lets you do is enter data through a fax machine into a computer database, and the software automatically turns the graphic images of the fax machine into real data files, which can then be manipulated in a database software program. In addition to new Windows applications, there were also new software products aimed at helping Windows users. Zip's on-site support database is a CD-ROM with technical support information on Windows, DOS, and a long list of PC applications. It's updated monthly for subscribers. It includes technical notes by software publishers. An annual subscription is about $1,300. Kyocera got lots of attention with its new Ecosys printer for the environmentally conscious. The toner powder is dropped in by a non-polluting cartridge that fits over the toner bin, and the cartridge itself can then be buried or incinerated without causing any pollution. In addition to its environmental appeal, the new Kyocera laser printer also saves you money. Kyocera says the price per page is 75% less than with other laser printers, less than a penny per page because of the recyclable toner cartridge. Ergonomics was the big sidebar story at Comdex. American Optical showed off its True Vision Technica eyeglasses, otherwise known as the computer glasses. The glasses are designed to allow users who wear bifocals to easily focus on the computer screen and on your papers without having to peer over frames or bifocal lines. Finally, if you're worried about a bad back or carpal tunnel syndrome from too much time at the computer, Forminco showed off this ergonomically designed leather computer chair. The chair and desk are designed to help you avoid repetitive strain injuries, keep you productive, and keep you coming back for more hardware and software. Roaming the aisles at Comdex is in some ways like venturing into a high-tech Alice in Wonderland, where this wonderful computer industry has somehow managed to convince us that obsolescence is a feature. For it seems the theme at every new Comdex is that everything we just saw at the last Comdex six months ago is now outdated and needs to be fixed. In the auto industry, that's called a recall, and they pay to fix it. In the computer industry, it's called an upgrade, and we pay to fix it. At Spring Comdex in Chicago, I'm Stuart Chiffe for the Computer Chronicles. access file this week. This is a special summer edition with the focus on software. Here are last week's best-selling software titles for the Mac according to Mac Connection. Symantec Corporation's Norton Utilities for Mac occupies the number one spot. And rounding out the top ten are Intuit's Quicken for the Mac and Microsoft's Word 5.0 version upgrade. Next up, Paul Schindler in our summer software review. Even with a map, I get lost. Windows makes it easier to get lost on a PC, and Rooms for Windows helps you find your way. Your desktop becomes a series of rooms, each organized around a task. All rooms share the contents of the overlay room. If we enter a room, we can quickly see what applications are available here. Rooms opens programs at the same size and location every time, unlike Windows itself. You can always get back to the room you came from by using the back door. Notice the little man waving. You always know where you
all your applications are with rooms for Windows, a mere $50 from Xerox in Rochester, New York. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Paul Schindler. That's it for this week's Computer Chronicles. I'm Janelle Stelson. Computer Chronicles has been made possible in part by PC Connection and Mac Connection. Mail order software and hardware peripherals for the PC and the Mac part by PC Connection.